Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to uh, Review Thursday. Right, so um, I get this new name for uh, our property reviews because uh, going forward, we uh, aim to be producing a uh, property review every Thursday. So um, we're going to be uploading it at uh, 8 p.m. Bangkok time every Thursday. So, um, so do subscribe to our channel and uh, hit the bell button so that you can always get updated. Uh, whenever uh, myself or Daryl we do a new review for the uh, for any new launches or or good properties that we find uh, in Bangkok itself, right? And uh, every Tuesday we'll be doing a ask us anything. So um, if you guys been following our channel, you know that we've been answering a lot of questions from our uh, subscribers. Uh, any questions regarding uh, pertaining to investing in uh, Bangkok, you know, buying a condo, um, from procedures to opinions, right? Do feel free to to uh, send send us your questions if you have any. Uh, leave us a comment in this video below, or you know where to reach us. You can you can uh, write to our email as well. All right, uh, the email is actually in the description in this video below. So uh, please do feel free to uh, check with us on anything and we would be happy to answer these questions to the best of our ability yeah um actually we just came back from bangkok uh, over the past weekend i was there from wednesday to saturday uh, the purpose of us going there uh, this time around is a bit special uh, we were doing our uh, bangkok property tour uh, for about uh, nine nine to ten uh, participants who join us from all over you know we have uh, people joining us from Singapore, Malaysia, right? Uh, and uh, we we did it a bit differently uh, because we actually took them to uh, properties that are near to uh, certain BTS or MRT stations. So basically, the the entire three days, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, we actually gave them the rabbit and MRT card, and then uh, we were actually moving around to give uh, them a better appreciation of. Uh, you know uh, how Tonglo is like, how Asso is like, how Ramana is like, and then we actually kind of like see the 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 good properties that we personally feel that is worth uh, looking at around this uh, um, um, BTS stations or MRT stations. Right, I'll I'll be putting up the videos very soon also, so uh, do keep a watch out for it as well. Yeah, and um, and during the 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 midst of this uh, trip, in fact, uh. We one of the projects that we wanted to show them is this project called Maru Ekamai Two, uh, which uh, I believe you guys if uh, have watched my review, you will know that you know this is a, a really really rather good project. It's like walking distance to Ekamai BTS, and then it's uh, one of the rare pet friendly condos. And uh, of course, the developer is also a very uh, reputable and, and, and decent developer. Right? Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately for the buyers, uh, Maru Ekamai 2, um, as of last week, the foreign quota is already fully sold. So, uh, yes, so if you guys are looking at this project, the only way to um, get your hands on a unit in Maru Ekamai 2 would be to uh, buy it from the existing purchasers already, right? Uh, but say if you are still keen, do feel free to get in touch with us. We we'll see whether we can pitch you to the existing buyers, right? So, so yep. So back to this uh, this property tour. Uh, we wanted to arrange uh, one of the visit. You know, one of the stops was to Naro Ekamai too, but. Um, by by early last week, we were told that it's you know the foreign quota was fully sold, so so no point seeing that property, right? What happens was then uh, we we uh, came across this other uh, development, which is um, three hundred meters away from Ekamai BTS, uh, but of course it's uh, this time round instead of being on soil Ekamai itself, which is soil sixty three, it is on the other side, which is the same side as the gateway Ekamai, it's on soil forty two. But it's also only about 300, 350 meters walking distance away. And and uh, personally, I feel that this is really, you know, since now that Mara Ekamai 2 is sold out, XT Ekamai is almost pretty much fully sold. Uh, Taka House is left with the last foreign quota unit. Um, then uh, this next project is probably one of the uh, first uh, top three to five developments that you should consider if you are seriously looking for a investment property in um, uh, so what project am I talking about? All right, so let me show you. All right, so here you are. You're looking at it. This is the uh, project called Siamese Exclusive Forty Two. Uh, so Siamese, uh, as a developer, we have previously uh, shared uh, two of their projects. One is called Siamese, 
exclusive 87, which is uh, nearer to on that side, about 400 meters. Uh, that project is all loft units. Um, so if you are if you are keen to uh, find out more, you know, do check out our investmentproperty.com website. Then the other one is the um, uh, Siamese exclusive Queens, which was 50 meters away from Queen Circuit, uh, Queen Circuit MRT. Uh, but that project is also fully sold. There's no more. That that was a really awesome development back then when it was available earlier this year right uh 50 meters from mrt and the mrt is one station away from us so, so uh that's i mean obviously that's the reason why it got so out so so fast right so um, so now uh this in this review i'm going to propose to you this project called siamese exclusive 42 right so uh personally i find that you know in terms of location 300 meters away from the neighborhood of Akamai, right that's a plus point uh, the Siamese is a, a good developer. Um, if you have seen their works before, you will understand that they have uh, good finishing. The layout is uh, very square, efficient. Right? So generally, when we bring uh, buyers to visit their show flat, especially the Chinese, you know, uh, the layout and the color scheme all resonates with them. So um, that's another plus point. And uh, also this development, all right. Previously, uh, this is not a new launch, all right. So so previously they were already selling for for I think for uh, maybe a couple of months, or, uh, you know. And uh, uh, they were they were selling the uh, the one bedroom and two bedroom, the normal one and two bedrooms. So uh, the the normal one bedrooms are already fully sold as well. So what is happening now is there's this final phase launch for Siamese exclusive forty two, right? And they are launching the last four levels uh, besides the penthouse which is on the 30th the uh, so the next four levels below and these four levels are unique because uh, these are loft units right so never before uh, released so they're, they're releasing the final four levels of loft units right? and the uh, loft units have been a very popular proposition to investors uh, Thai and even overseas buyers alike uh, in recent years Right, uh, and uh, I'll show you some photos, right? So, so these loft units are like uh, really a proper loft unit. The, the second level, which is usually the bedroom, all right, uh, you actually can put even your dressing table and your wardrobe on the second level. And when I go up, I can actually, I'm about 1.65 uh, or even slightly taller than myself, you can actually stand full height. So, this is a, a full uh, second level uh, unit. And then, uh, loft units, you know, with that high ceiling. Uh, high volume you know the 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 high uh, uh top to bottom glass uh window will make the entire property very bright very grand and you can actually buy a very uh, beautiful chandelier and hang it on it you know to bring out the the class in that property uh and there's isn't really a lot of loft units that are on the market uh, but I, I, I believe developers are slowly realizing this and they're coming out. So you can see that even developers like Raymond Land, uh, they have been, their series like the Love Asok, the Love Ekamai, um, that, that has been a success, right? So 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 I believe uh, Ekamai uh, Siamese has taken a leave out from uh, from this uh, uh, examples. And that's why we had the Siamese exclusive 87, which um, well, I think we only left with like only a handful of units left. Uh, this project is entirely loft unit. So, so this project, um, uh, when they are releasing these four levels, then I thought that um, I, I think I think it's something that you can seriously consider, and uh, I really believe that it will be gone very fast. So, uh, let me just share with you a bit more, and then you can see whether this is something suitable for you. Right. So, um, this is how I'm going to do it. Uh, I'll uh, just briefly talk about the location. And then, uh, then I'll go into the unit specifications, right? Uh, there won't be a lot to talk because uh, I will skip those that are already sold, which is the normal one and two bedroom. So I'll just give a bit more information on the loft units, how they are like, the price, and all these things, right? Uh, and then if you are keen to find out more, just feel free to get in touch with us, right? So um, let's jump straight to the location, Akamai. Uh, I don't think I, I need to uh, introduce too much. Um, uh, but uh, let me just briefly go through. So, so for for those of you who are watching this for the first time, um, Tong or Ekamai or Nut, uh, I would mention them in the same breath, right? Uh, this is uh, more commonly known as the uh, area where you know the the lot of the Japanese expatriates love to stay, 
right? Uh, but please do not think that only the Japanese stay there. In fact, uh, this is this is such a desirable neighborhood that um, the Thais themselves, all right, uh, the millennials, the the thirties, the forty something Thais, uh, as as um, they will always love to you know, get a property here. Uh, of course, recent years the land prices have gone up. Uh, properties here are definitely not cheap. You do not expect to pay two three million Thai baht to get something here. That would be close to impossible, right? Uh, one bedroom probably start you back at about six million Thai baht. And what is interesting about this location is, um, even for uh, condos, they are maybe say uh, more than 500 meters away from the BTS uh, but because it's within this neighborhood right uh, the occupancy rate is still very very high that 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 is a testimony of how desirable this uh, this place is so there are people who actually buy buy for own stay there are also people buying as a holiday home and then uh, if you are buying as an investment then you have access to really a lot uh, a wide catchment area of expatriates or even the the middle uh, middle income to high income ties alike, right? So so could be ties they are working around here, uh, then the uh, family may not be based in Bangkok. These are people who could also potentially be renting from you as well. Um, so look at this map, all right? So Akamai Station, um, uh, is only about three stations away from Asok, which is uh, like a central area. You can change from Asok to the blue. Uh, MRT line and it goes to uh, places like Ramanai, the second CBD, or it can go to Makassan station where uh, this is the uh, airport rail link to Subanakum Airport. So super convenient. Um, uh, M Quartier, which is the uh, I think one of the top malls in Bangkok right now, is at Prom Prom, which is only two stations away. And for the uh, residents of Akamai, there's this uh, shopping mall called the Gateway Akamai. Um, which uh, which is okay. I mean, it's, it's a good size, and then you actually have a lot of uh, uh, Japanese restaurants. You have food court, uh, all your basic necessity amenities. You can get it in this mall. Right. In fact, I during the tour, um, uh, Aroy Mark Mark and uh, Stranger in Michael actually brought us to a very nice uh, yakitori place in Gateway Akamai, uh, and the price was uh, very very uh, affordable. Right. Really value for money. Um, so you, you can feel the vibrancy like, during the weekends or in this mall. And then uh, take a look at the blue icons that uh, we have marked out. These are all the international schools uh, because of, um, you know, all the, a lot, quite a lot of number of expatriates stay along this few BTS line. So, so uh, those with families, you know, they will also want to stay around here because their kids can actually have access to all these uh, international schools. Um, and then, uh, I don't think I need to talk further about uh, restaurants, right? Uh, in terms of F and B, uh, staying in this area, you have no lack of F and B. You know, just go along Soy Fifty Five, Soy Sixty Three, a uh, lot of restaurants, uh, watering hole, chill out area. And if that's not enough, just get to the mall. You know, you have a mall at Gateway at Kamai. Tong Law itself, you have malls like uh, the Taste Tong Law, which is a community mall, uh, the Commons, or if not, then you go to M Quartier. Or if not, they go Terminal Twenty One. You know, this is just like all within like a uh, 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 very uh, probably five five to ten minutes there. But you don't even need a car. Everything is uh, just walk to the train station and then just take to the station that you want to get to, right? So this is this is really really uh, buying um, location, 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 right? And. Uh, Okay, before we go to the okay, maybe we just go to the map first. All right, so so let's look at this. I have uh, marked out. All right, this is Siamese exclusive forty two. Right now, if you go there, you will see that uh, uh, construction works have uh, begun. Uh, the show flat is actually somewhere here. All right, this white white uh, portion that you can see here. So this is the plot of land. Okay, and uh, most of the units will be facing. Uh, north towards uh, the Akamai, Gateway Akamai, BTS direction or south, right? And uh, right next to you is a condo, all right, called the address Sukhumvit 42, that is by uh, AP, all right? And then uh, across the road immediately, all right, this is a, a private house, this is a landed, so I think, I remember it's only one or two stories. So, so basically you, you kind of like have uh, units along here, you have unblocked views, all right, the, the only potential building that you have to uh, you might see from this corner is this freedom so COVID 42 which is a completed development okay so that that's something that's here all right um 
So the units here, of course, you might get blocked a bit by the building over here. If not, then, uh, but later, right? So from here, if I were to do a direction walk to uh, Gateway Akamai, which is the shopping mall that I mentioned, all right? So, so you can see here, from here to here, this is a short 200 meters walk, two minutes. And from Gateway Akamai, uh, the link way is actually linked to the uh, the BDS station, right? And next to Gateway Akamai, across here, uh, is a newly completed medical center. Um, I think uh, there will be a lot of private clinics inside, uh, mainly a lot of aesthetic uh, clinics, uh, dental, LASIK, and all this stuff. So it's pretty cool, right? So this, this is how it is, uh, the location. So this is the main Sukhumvit road, which is the always the ever busy road. And uh, so um, once you once you uh, go 42, you turn uh, left, you will go towards Asok direction. All right, this direction is towards Asok. And down, this is towards the Prakanon on you, uh, out, out of the city direction. And then uh, where does 42 comes from? 42 actually links from uh, here. All right, this is Rama 4 road. Rama 4 Road is uh, another major uh, artery road that uh, runs parallel to kind of like runs parallel to Sukhumvit Road and along Rama 4 Road there are a few um, uh, uh, MNCs and there's a TV station office tower, there's uh, SO tower and all these things because one of the projects that uh, we have recommended previously was Oka House which is located around Rama 4 right, um, right. so this is uh, this is a brief overview of uh, where the location is, right? You, you have your Sukhumvit hospital that's nearby also. Um, the, the good thing about buying, investing in areas like Tonglo and Gamai is um, this location needs no um, introduction, right? So, so for example, for, for us, when we, when we get inquiries from uh, overseas investors, um, you tell them Tonglo Ekamai, they know. In fact, sometimes they just call up and they're asking about Tonglo Ekamai or maybe Ramanai. These are the few names that always get uh, bounced around. So, so if you are a uh, existing owner of a property in Ekamai or Tonglo, and if you were to want to sell it off next time, three years or five years down the road, I believe you will find it a lot easier than people who are buying the areas that people you know do not really know about. Um, uh, they, are, they are too far away, right? Because um, uh, that's just how it works, you know. People will just start asking, hey, you have something at Akamai? I only want Akamai because they hear good things about Akamai, and it's true, you know, uh, because this area, the occupancy rate is so high uh, because of all the amazing, all these things. Even if you do not want to sell as a landlord, you will find that your turnover is very fast. You will be able to find a good quality tenant uh, much easier compared to um, others who have bought. Uh, property like for way further out and then just because they wanted to save that one two million Thai baht, uh, but they will have an empty unit for a way longer period or they may not get as good quality the tenants as possible right so coming back uh okay so this is the area uh uh let, let's just go straight into Simon's exclusive 42 um so 42 is because it's along soy 42 that's how it got the name from um okay let me just go back all right, so this is where it is. Okay, let's just look at the uh, the the some of the project description. All right, so Siamese Asset uh, is the developer. You can do a bit of uh, research on them. They have done uh, quite a number of uh, projects already. All right, um, and when when you see the term Siamese exclusive, all right, this is uh, their highest range of uh, development. So they actually have. Like you know, like like we always say, like uh, different developers, same thing. Like even just not AP, uh, where where Siamese Exclusive Forty Two is on the right hand side, they have the address and across the road have a rhythm. So so the address has all along been like uh um projected as a development that's a grade above the rhythm. So same thing, Siamese also have different different categories, and the, when you see the word exclusive, that means this is something that they put the best effort into. So uh, obviously because of the location, they have to do a development that is in sync with the uh, the location as well okay so uh the building is a single tower total 31 stories uh 449 unit all right which is which is again cool this is not a project that is talking about 2000 unit high density so 449 units that means if you take about half of it that's the 220 units 
uh, in fact, I mentioned my one bedrooms are all fully sold, now I'm left with loft unit. So once these are all sold, the form quotas are full, um, then, you know, the, the only way for someone who wants to get a property here, they will have to buy from you uh, if you are an existing owner, right? And, and this project being so close to the BTS will definitely have its appeal, right? One way or another. Uh, room types, we have one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, loft, and then you have your penthouse as well, right? Um, Completion year, so not right now we are in the tail end of 2018, so we're talking about another two years or so, uh, 2020 uh, complete. Okay, let's briefly go through the payment term, down payment 30%, okay, the normal, this is the management fee, 75 baht uh, per square meter, uh, sinking fund, alright, etc, etc. Alright, so this is how they demarcate the foreign and the Thai quota, right, and that, that's how it works. Um, Okay, we'll, I'll just run through the pictures of the of the uh, facilities shortly. All right, so this is how the project looks like. Okay, so this is the main uh, residential tower, and then you have your uh, this is the car park mechanical parking. All right, so so um, the facilities that were at the top. All right, most 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 of the tenants uh, uh, wouldn't drive. I mean, the reason why you you are paying a premium for being so near to the BTS because you you want to uh, make use of the accessibility by taking the train to wherever you need to go, all right? Okay, so now some photos. This is the uh, drop-off lobby. Very grand and uh, uh, just now I was saying, the color scheme they use always resonate with the Chinese, uh, I mean Asians in general, right? It's, uh, it's always white, off-white, earth color, very neutral, then you have a bit of brown, and then of course they might use a bit of stone finishing to enhance the class. So these are all very, very neutral colors, which uh, I don't think will turn anybody off. Um, so so I think in that aspect, you know, they, they are quite clever in a sense, you know, they use very, uh, very safe and appealing color schemes. Okay, so this is uh, the main lobby hall on the first floor. Okay, maybe just let me shift myself here. So this is the meeting area. Okay, or so-called function room, lah, all right, in other words. Okay, uh, uh, look at the mailbox, right? I, I, I'm always very impressed when I visit Bangkok uh, condos because uh, even the mailboxes uh, area, right, they, they will actually put a lot of effort into it. Uh, I, I just visited the line Ratatouille, you know, I've been to Chihuahua Residence Aso, and now this, when I look at this, I can I can already imagine how cool it will look when it's completed. You know, I, I think it really looks cool. Uh, <laughs> unlike, you know, sometimes even in Singapore itself, I don't see something like this. Not at, unless I go to the really, really high-end ones. Right? So this is the, uh, yeah, so of course, you know, you have your gym, um, fitness area okay just just some artist impression right uh this is how last time the one bedroom looks like one bedroom okay two bed all very square square okay I, I shall skip the floor plans for this because we do not have any units anymore for for all this right so this is just the picture of how it is okay then we have the four plans and all these I, I shall skip but if you really want I can I'll be happy to send you a copy of this uh, uh brochure Right, so this is how, how it is the ground floor. Just let me give you a bit of uh, um, uh, orientation. This road will be uh, the uh, soil 42. This will be the soil 42 and this is a small lane that actually will bring people into uh, the address uh, uh, the, the address 42 that I mentioned just now. Right, so um, so on my uh, on your left, all right, if you're looking at this, uh, so this is this is a one way road, two lanes, one way road. So this is going towards the uh, Akamai BTS direction. So this is uh, the the rhythm forty two, and then you have your gateway uh, rhythm forty two, and then you have your gateway Akamai, and then the BTS station, right? So most of the units will be in will be in this orientation, uh, left and right orientation, uh, which I'll show you shortly, okay. <laughs> So, uh, okay, maybe allow me to go back. So, so this plot, remember, let me go back to the map. All right. So, so if I will just zoom in. Okay. So most of the unit will run this, the, the, the property, because you see the site is actually an L shape. So the block will actually, is a singular block. So we'll actually run up and down this direction. 
okay just like how the the just now the artist impression and then that remember that small um tower in front that we say was uh gonna be the um the car park all right so it will actually be somewhere here okay so the idea i i believe why they do that is because um this is the busy road here if you have no business going into uh and this is a dead end uh, so if you have no business going into um the address to go in 42 i don't think any car will come in here so the, the further in the quieter it is right so this is the busy road so that's why you know um they actually put the car park here they set back the building here so that you you get a bit away from the noise uh this will actually benefit those who actually have bought earlier at the, at the lower floor right uh, the entrance of course will be from soy 42 itself okay so um okay so let me just go back here uh next page so this is on the top floor all right you have this way just now the pictures of the gym the swimming pool uh and then you have a rooftop garden and then you have your uh bbq so so basically a lot of stuff is actually all done here except for the meeting rooms and the lobby all these things are on the ground floor all right okay so so you have to adjust your your uh orientation a bit so again this is the uh soy 42 road okay where my cursor is okay so the buildings will actually be here like this in this direction okay so this is on the second floor and then you have your third floor uh and then there's a small garden on the fifth floor all right so you, you see that the uh car park actually runs up to the sixth floor seventh floor is the top of the of the car park which they also converted to a green space right so you can actually join up and actually walk over it's actually connected okay then you have your 8 to 25th floor so so from the the units from the from the lower floor all the way to the 2050s yeah are your normal units the loft units will start from the 26th floor okay which uh i'll show you uh, uh in a in a short while let me just go back here right so i was saying that the building will actually be in this direction okay uh then the question is uh you know how block how much blockage would i be right uh firstly uh because the units will actually look to look to the left or to the right all right um up here is the north direction down is the south okay if you have units here at a corner which is which will be the two bedrooms which is at a the corner then um then the potential blockage would be this rhythm 42 which is 36 stories high all right so in this case our maximum is 26 27 28 so for sure you will you will somehow see this building but it will be at a distance because in between you have this very large plot of land that that is a private house there's only single story unless uh this building gives way somebody comes in here buys up this land and build another high rise then a unit here might be blocked oh but you can be sure that when this happens the price should be higher <laughs> than than whatever that you got it for all right then how about units here if i were to take units here facing the uh north south east side the east side all right so this the address to commit 42 because it is only from the small lane this this development is only eight levels high so so if you're talking about 26 27 28 29 uh no issue uh, basically you clear all right how about on this side if you face the soil 42 all right these are uh these are short houses about four five four five levels high only so again uh not an issue you will clear the car park and then you will and you will basically clear and you will see towards all right but this is the uh so called the west direction and then uh, uh but maybe towards the south then you have this uh piece of empty land here which we cannot confirm what was gonna happen next time all right uh, and then the the tallest tower is here which is at the moment some distance away so not an issue right but but if you're looking at the one bedroom loft then uh it's either the right side or the left side so so it's really just a matter of choice um see which one suits your uh you know suits what you want okay so so let me show you the uh this is the floor plan of the uh 26 level okay so this is the this all these are loft units so um then in case you're wondering we have 26 27 20 29 uh but because of you know the the tie and the and the uh foreign quota thingy so uh 26 and 27 are allocated for the thai quota and then uh 28 29 are uh, also 26 27 for foreign quota which you can you and myself can buy so 20 29 for the thai quota so you can see uh each this level i only have like 20 units so total 40 units so i only can 
have access to 40 different buyers. So once these are all gone, then my development is fully sold. Okay, so uh, just, yeah, let me just briefly run you through. So you have your leaf and then um, uh, if you see this two MA is 48.5, the corners, right? All these two, uh, these are the two bedrooms. Uh, so the two bedroom loft. So for the two bedroom loft, you come in, you know, you have a room at the first level and then the loft will be so-called the master bedroom, the second level. Whereas for the uh, for the one bedroom, like you see this one, one MB, one A, you come in here through a uh, kitchenette and then the washroom and then this is like your, uh, this is like a mini balcony, all right, and then your living hall below and then you have your you have your uh, uh, room at the, at the top, right? If you're wondering how it looks like exactly, uh, check out this link here, all right, here. Uh, here all right so so i think it's showing now you just click on this ring uh i actually visited the show flat over the weekend and i did a 360 walkthrough of the one bedroom loft uh, show unit which is the only unit that they have on display at that point in time so check it out and you will see what i mean uh how how the entire loft looks like all right so this is this is 26 floor and uh let's see Okay, and this is 27. Ah, sorry, in fact, in fact, you see, because 27, this portion, some units are gone. So, in fact, on the 27th floor, I only have 16 units. So, 20 plus 16, 36 units available. Okay, so either these are all the typical one bedrooms and, yes, correct. And in uh, Bangkok, right, uh, you do not actually pay for airspace. So, so uh, it will be the usable area on the first level plus the usable area on the second level so that that, that is all you know uh, as for the double volume space you are not charged for it unlike um, say example in Singapore we actually uh, calculate that in as part of the area and we kind of use that as a tabulation for the price right so uh, I think these are all pretty good size uh, even for this unit which is about 30 square meter uh, the top Second level is about twelve square meter, so you add up is about forty five square meter. This is this is really a really decent size um uh, uh unit, you know, and you can actually put a king size bed on top as well with a wardrobe and then with a side table, uh, and so on. Okay, we uh we'll talk about price now. Okay, uh we're, we're talking about uh for the one bedrooms uh one bedrooms we are talking about. A price of uh, starting from about nine million upwards, nine million upwards, and then for the two bedrooms, we are talking about uh, estimated about fourteen to fifteen uh, million time, but upwards. All right, and uh, then of course, uh, the question also, if you are buying for investment, people ask me um, how much can I rent it for. I think I think you can look no further than the uh, two existing developments that are next door, the rhythm forty two and the address forty two as a guide, right? So for example, the uh the address forty two, the low rise, right? Uh, was built in about two thousand and thirteen, so it's a it's an older development compared to the rhythm, right? Uh, if you if you check out the one bedroom, uh, they are renting there about forty square meters, uh, it is. Uh, fully furnished unit will is asking for about 25,000 25, Thai baht uh, per month, right? And uh, and uh, if you look at the uh, rhythm, all right, the high rise, the six story high rise right in front, which is uh, ju uh, uh, just completed, you know, it was built in 2016, so about two years there, about uh, a one bedroom that is about 45 square meters, um, fully furnished, all right, you're looking at about 35,000. Uh, uh, type up per month so I mean of, of, because it's newer than the address which uh, was built like several years back so in terms of facilities and uh, and the facade and state of maintenance is definitely uh, older than the rhythm so the newer rhythm is now asking one bedroom is about 35 to uh, 30, about 30 35 uh, thousand type up, uh, per month so if you were to use the 30,000 as a gauge, right, uh, we always try to be a bit more prudent. Uh, say even if yours is like going to be completed in two years time, it's going to be newer 
uh, more classy and all these things. So let's just assume you know your one bedroom will rent for about thirty thousand a month. Um, based on your purchase price of about nine plus close to ten million, um, you're still looking at about a yield of about three three ish percent. Um, which is about decent. I mean, if if it, if it, if if you can actually get it higher, at maybe forty thousand, then that will be a bonus. I'm just assuming, you know, let's say assume things stays the constant, about three to four percent. Uh, you rental you in Bangkok. I think that's about decent. Um, most importantly is this is a real, achievable you that you know you can you can really get. You know, I mean, the you is only real when you actually get someone occupying it for twelve months a year and they are really paying you rent. No point me promising you a uh, crazy figure and then you realize that you know hey when you get your keys the unit is actually gonna be empty for six months uh that that totally defeats the purpose right and that is why we are always telling people you know you should always look at these kind of areas like Kamai or Onno that's the furthest that you should be going because you can get a tenant you can get someone who will pay thirty thousand thirty five thousand thai baht for you right then. Uh, then I also get questions. I right? uh, I think um uh some people are asking me, hey, should I you know go for a normal one bedroom? Uh, is it like um uh, uh smaller, cheaper? You know, I I I'll get better you. Um, yes and no. Of course. Um, if uh if uh budget is a is a constraint, then um then yes, then maybe you you want to go for a smaller unit. Uh, but you know, still try to get a good location as much as possible. But uh, I I mentioned upfront, you know, the the one of the reason why people are looking at loft is because it is very, uh, rather limited in supply at the moment, right? Um, uh, I mean, try to name me like big developers loft projects that are in Akamai. Maybe just a handful, like maybe if you look at Raymond Lands, uh, the loft Akamai. Right. So for comparison, comparison sake, so let me. Uh, I'm actually at the DD property page. Uh, let me just show you. I I actually uh, figure out where the law Akamai is. All right, law Akamai was developed by uh, Raymond Land. It's a computer project. Uh, they are rather popular with the law series, so they actually have duplicated this success elsewhere as well. So look at this, the law Akamai. Uh, I think you know it's on uh along Sukhumvit Road here, sixty three. So the distance to the BTS somewhat similar to. Uh, from here to here and here to here, I think it's somewhat the same. Um, we look take a look at the, uh, you know, it was completed in, uh, it was built in two zero one three. Uh, completed, you know, I think one or two years back. Um, just just if you look at the price, you know, uh, like you, if you have a thirty five square meter, then you are, you're talking about currently, you know, twenty five thousand. If you get the larger one, forty-five square meter, then you see people are asking for a two thousand. Of course, you may not always get you know exactly for two thousand, but maybe you let people niggle down a bit. You you still probably get around about thirty-five, right? Um, my my point being that uh, uh, laws are really something that is not easily available. Uh, so there are maybe developments that are building laws, but then you might be compromising on the location. So, so of course, location will always come first. So now, if you have a location and you have a, a good developer and you have a development type that you know, uh, that is rather rare and popular nowadays, I really think why not? There are some people who also bought lost because the one bedroom lost because um, they feel that the uh, uh, two bedroom might be a bit out of their reach. So, for example, you know, if you buy a two bedroom in in Akamai, that that will probably cost you. Uh, back set you back at least twelve million upwards, twelve or maybe fourteen or fifteen million, depending on the size. So, uh, I I have a recently have a client who bought lots at near or not. So the idea was they had a small family. Uh, the 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 parents, uh, the the husband and wife, all right, the young couple of about, about forty something. They will actually stay at the at the second level, and then they intend to buy a sofa bed at the first level for the kids, right? So essentially, that is a holiday home for them. Right, so so that could happen also. I mean, there are a lot of configuration. As long as you have space, then you you have a lot of configuration, right? So, um, so yeah. So I think pretty much that's it for this uh review video. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy this uh review of the Siamese exclusive forty two. Uh, right now we are already accepting booking. Um, the developer is accepting booking actually. So um. 
uh, as I said, we only have like 36 units. So if you're interested, uh, drop us a comment or uh, contact us. You know, uh, our contact details are in the description below. You can email myself or Daryl, or you can actually visit our website, uh, investmentcorporate.com. Uh, get in touch with us, uh, WhatsApp, WeChat, Line, and uh, we'll be happy to furnish you with uh, more details. Right. Um, if you have any questions, yep, just feel free to 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 contact us. Uh, then we can actually do a more in depth discussion with you, or if you need help selecting a decent unit for this project, also we'll be happy to help you with. All right. So um, that's it. All right. So so I'll see you next week again on Thursday for the next review. And uh, yeah, hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.